Okay, what I'm showing you here is just a Google search for car fuel data UK gov, and that should be enough as a search string to find this page directgov.uk and their car fuel data information. In here, they provide all sorts of searches that you can do for to find the cars you want. I think this was used primarily for um, business users to try and find what the benefit in kind taxation would be for different cars. So you could get your company car and know what tax you were going to pay in advance. Um, but in here, at the bottom, they have downloads. And in these downloads, produced at the moment every August, um, there is a spreadsheet full of every single car um, that's available. And if you just click through to uh, download the uh, zip files that you're interested in and open them up in whatever app is appropriate on your PC or computer. For this one, I'm just using Sheets. You'll see a lovely spreadsheet full of every single car that's available. Now, all I do with this is delete some of these uh, columns and sort them or filter them to get rid of all the cars I'm not interested in. For example, if I'm interested in electric cars, get rid of all the diesel and I'll put a filter on fuel type equals electric. And away we go. And it'll have everything in there, for all the electrical energy it's used, the range, the cost, uh, the miles per gallon for comparable cars. There's loads and loads of information on the cars. So you can look at whatever you want. And I find this brilliant for comparing uh, which cars I'm interested in buying. For example, if I wanted a small economical diesel, um, I'd be looking at the Mito, the BMW 1 Series, maybe the Fiat 500 or the Ford Fiesta, but I wouldn't be interested in the Dacia and Citroen. And when you look at the miles per gallon these things are doing, I mean, almost 100 miles to the gallon, uh, according to these figures. So uh, that's where I get the information, and that's what I use it for. I hope this is useful for you. Okay, so taking the spreadsheet that I downloaded from the government website and filtering out everything I'm not interested in, you can see that I've uh, chosen on here to look at rows from 2,577, and uh, those are the electric cars. And right at the top, because I've sorted them in order of energy consumption in miles per kilowatt, the most economical, uh, efficient car in the list is the Hyundai Ioniq. Noting there that it says it's got a range of 174 miles, obviously that's an optimistic number. So if we use that as the example, we know full well that some people are only getting 120, 130 miles range out of them. So it gives you an impression about what's achievable and what's not. Um, but if you scroll down the list, um, obviously a small car like the Volkswagen Up, um, really small car, very light, you'd expect that to be efficient. And if you're starting to look down for what's efficient or inefficient, the Golf's quite high on the list. Then we've got the Renault Zoe following that below that. And below those are the Nissan Leaf at only 4.1. Well, 4.1 miles versus 5 miles, that's, um, that's a big percentage. So I think I was saying in the previous video, you know, 20 to 30 percent. And uh, I, I think that difference between the uh, old Leaf there and the Ionic is again you know, the 20 to 30 percent. But keep going down the list and look at these Teslas, the Tesla Model S's that are in the list there with only 3.3 uh, miles. So that's getting towards half the miles can be traveled per kilowatt of energy than the Hyundai Ionic. So this is why I was saying that the Teslas are really inefficient and are consuming a lot of electricity, probably just because of the size and weight, mostly. But something else to note that this list is showing me, they're also the noisiest cars. So why, why is that? Um, 72, 71 decibels. Um, I found that absolutely staggering. So moving on, um, if I scroll across another screenshot that I took of another sorted list, uh, this one, um, I started to include some of the hybrid plugins. And this one I'm going to research um, a lot further because look at the information that's right at the top. Toyota Prius, um, just in the electric mode of the new Prius, they reckon it'll do 8.6 miles per kilowatt. Well, that's incredible. That's a huge improvement over the Hyundai Ionic, which is or was the best. Um, and even the Ionic plug-in says it will do a lot more miles per kilowatt, 6.6, 6, 
than the actual fully electric one. Um, I've actually submitted a question to Hyundai UK to ask them the question, why is that? Why is it the uh, hybrid in electric mode is more efficient, according to these da this data, than their actual electric? There's not too much difference in weight, um, but it's not sort of making sense. Uh, looking at other comparable data where people are comparing um, the efficiency of the Prius to the Ionic, it does seem as though this set of data isn't consistent. Um, in other reports, it shows the Ionic um, plug-in hybrid being more efficient than the Prius. So I'm not quite sure why this is showing up as so efficient, but it's certainly something to investigate, something to follow up on and be confident um, which is the best and why. But that to me looks extremely encouraging because if there are cars out there like the Prius or the Ionic plug-in that can do eight or 6.6 uh, miles per kilowatt, then there's no reason why the fully electric cars can't um, aspire to that um, in the near future. So um, the future looks good. It looks like we're gonna get a lot more range from smaller battery sizes. And if that continues, then uh, we obviously won't need to have such large batteries and we won't need um, to pay so much for the car and the car will weigh less, it'll be more efficient. And if that keeps spiraling upwards, then uh, the future's good, isn't it? Just having a look on here to see if there's anything else of interest. Um, obviously, remember this is August 2017 onwards. So for example, the e-Golf right down the bottom, it's showing um, a range of only 118 miles. That must be the old version, not the new version. Another picture here. This was the full list of the Teslas available at the bottom. And just look how low it goes. The P100D in the Model X, only 2.7 miles per kilowatt. Okay, that, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to share uh, the source of data that I've used in the past and I'm using now to compare vehicles and their efficiency and their economy and range and cost and all those sort of things. Um, I find the data really useful and I can't wait to see August's information this year with the iPace, the new Golf, the new Leaf and all the other cars, um, hopefully maybe in the Kona, um, all being in this data so I can compare them and uh, see which one is efficient and which one is going to be right for me. Uh, I'm looking forward to that data and I hope you find it useful. If you like uh, the videos that I'm doing then uh, please subscribe, uh, please like them and uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Comment below if you've got anything else to say. Thanks, bye!